Hey. Phil, what the hell is that? We've got 11 plies of sexiness. Excellent. Look at that. That yeah. is a, an 11 piece neck through construction. It certainly is, on a beautiful sunny day here in Dublin. Exactly. You can really see the grain. Excellent. And the front. And the front. See the front. The front is a kind of a, a car, it looks like a car, Phil. It's very car inspired, yeah, isn't it? It's very car inspired, yeah. It's, it's um, kind of like an old Gretsch kind of vibe, isn't it? Kind of 50s. Um, it is, it's a, a uh, diddly thing, isn't it's it? It's a bit of a Bo Diddley um, yeah. uh, so, replica and um, so tribute. Let's hear about the madness. What, what, what started this off? What started this off was that sticker. Okay, let's hear about it. It's a car club. Support your local hoods. hoods. Yeah, so it's a. Yo. It's just a. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a uh, custom car club. Oh, okay. So you know you have to have a hot rod to to be in the club. My my friend uh, Jay is in the club. Okay. And uh, so that was the inspiration for building the guitar. And yeah, uh, Billy Gibbons, being a, a big uh, car nut himself, mm -hmm. he has uh, hot rods. Obviously, the thirty four yeah. Ford off Eliminator. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And oh uh, yes, yeah, so, you know, yeah, the, the car. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. So of course, they based Ford. the whole album on that thing, didn't they? Exactly. So yeah. you could have got it in red then, couldn't you? You could have that Eliminator thing going on we'll, with we'll a big ZZ stripe across. Yeah. It. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going for a sort of hot rod, you know, rat rod yeah, sort no, of look lovely, to the, yeah, whole, it's, it's, the front of the guitar. It it looks very comfortable to play. It wouldn't be my ideal shape now. Let's, I won't lie to you, but it looks very nice. I have to say, and the back of it, I have to That's say, the, wood, you, you the know, back is more impressive than the front yeah. for once, which is quite. <laughs> it is actually a feat in a guitar, isn't it? But the, look at that. Look at the, the look at the layers of wood. It's yeah. incredible, beautifully done. So we've actually got um, mahogany. Ebony, maple, ebony, mahogany, maple, <laughs> mahogany, <laughs> ebony, maple, ebony, and mahogany. 11 wow, blocks. That is nuts. That, yeah. that's, a, that's a lot of time. Nice volute on the back yeah. of there. And it was cre crafted by the people at Javara, Javara, Javara custom, custom Shop. Shop. Yeah, you Indonesia. Show, show that a little. Yeah, hmm. very nicely done. Very nicely done. And it, it was not a King's Ransom at all. No. I mean, this is hand built, hand -built in Indonesia, in Indonesia yeah, so yeah. we know they're using Indonesian woods. Yeah, Indonesia. beautiful woods. They're the best woods in the world, aren't they? Indonesian, Indonesian mahogany, yeah, mahogany, so you know yeah. it's good quality wood. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's actually a chambered body, mm. so it's neck through construction, but then you've got four pieces on either side, a back piece, which is fully hollowed out, yeah. and then the, the, the top piece. So that's why it's it's light. It's not overly mm. heavy. I mean, yeah. if that was a solid chunk of wood, oh, it'd yeah, be it a looks heavy like it would be, yeah, beast. Yeah, definitely, yeah. So you know, for the size of it, it it's not a heavy beast. It's quite mm -hmm. resonant. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the guys at um, Javara in, in Indonesia, you know, they do uh, a lot of the the carving work yeah, as well. No, it's it looks it just looks so beautiful. The back of it, yeah. Not the front. I mean, the front is nice. <laughs> it's pleasant. But the I mean, I'm not a fan of black guitars, never have been. But this is just gorgeous. Yeah. These this wood, I mean, it's, and is this a kind of a light wax on it or something? There's a it? light wax finish. Yeah, yeah. And as you can see, you know, it looks handmade. You know, it it's, really it's, does. It's, like it's, even look here, like it does have that. Yeah, yeah I mean, it's it, it's not perfect, which is yeah, in a which way is nice. nice. Yeah, no, it is nice. You know, I mean, when you've yeah. got cars that are too right finished, yeah. polished, sure. You know, it means they're actually like full, an LTD full, or something. Yeah, but like full of a poly, yeah, poly. Oh, you know, yeah. it's like a plastic guitar because even if you dig into that poly finish, yeah. you know, it's over a, a millimetre thicker, of just paint. Of course, yeah. Plastic yeah. finish yeah. where this, you can feel oh, the no, wood, can, so, the neck, I mean, yeah. it just... Organic, it's really yeah. organic, it's beautiful. Yeah. Well, listen, I want to hear this, baby. All right, well, let's yeah. take it inside let's and uh, it inside see what she sounds yeah, like. Let's do it, let's do it, man. Excellent. Now. Yeah, that was in there, yeah. Is it comfortable, like even with that thing, they, it's nice and, oh yeah, you can put it right, because yeah. I actually haven't sat down with it yet, I, I was only standing with it. Yeah. I mean, it is comfortable to play. Mm.
it's all good. But hey, yeah, you know, no, it's, it's got good. the sound. Yeah, no, it's beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> Let me at it. Mm. It's so chunky. It's a real beast, isn't it? Beastie. It is, yeah. <laughs> position and I had the um, the pickup turned down. Now it's all the way up. Hmm. So. You mentioned that we've got um something we haven't seen in Ireland a long time. There's this big yellow ball in the sky, and it's, I think it's called the sun. Is that what it is? We don't get very We're often. A bit confused. Well, I was. Going on, uh, I was certainly was. Like it, <laughs> it's like twenty six degrees here today. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah. So we don't get sun here. Hottest temperature since eighteen twelve, which it was thirty thirty one degrees recorded in Cork. It's insane. Yeah. We'd actually melt. Yeah. And I'll die. And we couldn't, I couldn't live in that. I just, that's crazy. 31 <laughs> degrees. What's it like in Australia, Phil? Well, here in summer you get that all the time, but uh, they're actually having uh, cold weather and snow in places they've never had of snow course, before. because you're in winter now. Yeah. Right? So that's, that's quite interesting, isn't it? It is. Actually, would, um, would, did Malcolm Young ever play anything like that? No, speaking of. No, like, no. It's just, it's just reminding me of Malcolm Young here. Just saying, oh, he did oh, play Gretsch. Gretsch, didn't he? Yeah, he, he oh, yes. he's the original 63 he, he Gretsch. He has a Gretsch, that's right. 63 that's, Gretsch. I remember Malcolm with the, with the, yeah, that's right. So, that's a Gretsch copy. Is that that's right? That's right, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that would be, like, one of the more obscure Gretsch models, would it? Yeah, well, this was a, a guitar designed by uh, Bo Diddley. Mm -hmm. So if you, you look up Bo Diddley, the funny thing, um, I don't know why, but back in the 50s, Bo Diddley would do these drawings yeah. and Gretsch would make the guitars. Wow. You know, so he did this model here. Yeah. yeah. Um, there was that really odd shape, which then became like the Jackson Shark. So yeah. Jackson stole that. And, you know, I was only... Not Robin Crosby. Oh, it could be, yeah. but, you know, I was just looking, you know, when I was looking up the Billy Bow and Gretsch, and, you know, obviously uh, Bo Diddley did the, you know, the rectangle mm -hmm. guitar and all mm -hmm. these shapes. But I found that shape, and I was thinking, wow, there you go, that's from the 50s. Wow. But apparently yeah. um, Bo Diddley, he actually gave this guitar to Billy Gibbons. Wow. And uh, yeah. I think when they started recording one of the albums... Um, not 100% sure which one, Mascalero mm. maybe. Mm -hmm. um, Early stuff, yeah. No, 2000s. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. okay. In the, in yeah. the 2000s, yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. Billy Gibbons got a massive collection, a, a, a huge storage shed with all guitars in cases. Wow. And they were going through the guitars, wow. and they actually found the guitar. Regional, yeah. And, uh, you know, Gretsch said they'd, they'd build it for him. But yeah. there again, the funny thing with Billy Gibbons is that, like this not being a Gretsch, mm. most of Billy Gibson, Gibbons' guitars are not Gibsons. Yeah, who's the guy Gretsch's. that builds all? He, 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 His name a, is John Bolan. Right, and he's a real, like, small-time guitar. Is he, a, like... Well, a, it's all, all the yeah, guitars handmade, are totally handmade yeah, by sure. John Bolan. Yeah. And the thing is, 
uh, like this guitar, all Billy Gibbons guitars are actually um, chambered. Yes. So mm. when Gibson, you know, they did a um, a version of of the Pearly Gates, mm. and when Gibson made them, uh, when uh, Billy Gibbons got the guitar, he gave it to John Boland. Mm. He took the cap off, chambered the body, put the the cap back on, and repainted right. the guitar because yeah. Billy Gibbons likes like guitars. Right. Yeah, because he's a smart guy. He's isn't a he? small yeah. guy. Yeah. You know, yeah. plays sevens. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, so I mean, like this, it's chambered. It feels so this great. This is your tribute to Billy Gibbons. You got this built, you know, just thinking of the ma the ma master himself. Yeah. 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 I, I love Billy Gibbons. Yeah. I mean, he's just. Yeah, he's, Bill he's, loves Billy. Yeah. He's, How many he's, times have you seen Zizi Top? Three times. I've seen him once. Yeah. 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 There you go. I mean, he's just got yeah. a unique, yeah. unique New tone. Sound. His yeah. tone is just incredible. Yeah, yeah. That song is it. Need you tonight off the Eliminator album. Yeah, yeah. I need you tonight. Great song. Wow, but the tone on that is and the solo yeah, and yeah. just the scratchy. That scratchy feel he gets. Exactly. Just, yeah, and then classic. You know where yeah. he's got a bit. Process but rough boy. Yeah, I mean, just oh, yeah, yeah. Songs yeah. like that are yeah. just uh, amazing. Eliminator was the, just the pinnacle. Yeah. Well, a lot for a lot of people, they, they thought they sold out there, you know. Oh yeah, it was I mean, so commercial, yeah, it was uber yeah. commercial compared to like you know the Mexican albums. What are those? The, like, oh, you got El Tejas. Yeah, that, El, El Loco. All those, Tejas. Yeah. Um, and then um, the live the, album was Brothel, Fandango. What was that one called? <laughs> <laughs> what's that one? Oh, that's uh, Lagrange. Lagrange, that kind of thing. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. I mean, they went from classic, a really yeah. blues oh, yeah. sound yeah. and to a What did he use the Lester for all that stuff, didn't he? Originally, yes. But, mm. I mean, like anything, there's a few songs that he had strats or whatever. And the first mm. song where they say he didn't use Pearly Gates was a song actually called Apology to Pearly. Apologies mm. to Pearly. Right, right. But yeah. there again, you do find out, you know, um, there's a book that Billy Gibbons has got called Rock and Roll Revhead. Mm. And half it's a lot of his... his beautiful cars and the other half is the guitars yeah yeah and um i think maybe in the book there's a few bits and pieces that sort of say you know he used this guitar on this this uh song yeah, and guitar yeah. and a, you know you know he's through the 90s and that he was using telecasters mm, a lot mm. you know so he's, he's yeah just knows how to get a good sound from a guitar absolutely oh he, boy does he yeah. does he a tree piece as well it's mind-blowing yeah you know absolutely yeah man listen you're in love you're you're in love with this thing i think you're you're loving it well, I, I, any uh, any criticisms on it, by the way? Well, look, is it all good news? I would say this guitar is about ninety percent there. Yeah. Um, but if we go through different facets of the guitar, if you sure, talk about yeah, the yeah, construction, yeah, sure, yeah. I mean the construction is, is mind-boggling. It is. It's not flawless, me. though, right? It's not flawless. No. That's what we're going to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but yeah. you know, when the construction of the guitar is amazing, this eleven-piece. Did you ask nectar. for an eleven-piece neck trip? I did. I showed. Yeah. I showed um, wow. Echo a yeah, picture yeah, yeah. of what I wanted. This is Echo from Javara, isn't Javara. it? Javara. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we talk on uh, Messenger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, you know, I said I wanted a, a neck through body, showed yeah. him the shape of the guitar. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, as I said, you know, nice wax finish. You can feel the wood. Mm. 11 piece construction. You know that the woods are Indonesian woods. Mm, mm. It's not like the Chinese guitar. You really don't know what woods they're yeah, using. Sure. Um, in that respect, the construction is amazing. As I said, it's a chambered body. So, in the wings, they've chain hollowed it yeah, out. Yeah. So it makes it nice and light. The only criticisms I'd say on the guitar is the finishing work. Um, there's just a few little... Which is a pretty big criticism, really. Yeah, we'll go into price. You know, oh, and then so, again, yeah, let's talk about price. Know, I mean... I'll just say the, the couple yeah, little criticisms. Sure, and and yeah. the first one was on the headstock. It may be hard to see, cause, but there you go. You can see on the angle there. Yeah. It's a Looks few like little... Grail. Yeah, a few little, little dots. Like, dots like someone hit off it or something it. a few times. Yeah, I mean, yeah. if I had have just said, okay, there's a few marks and it yeah. will put a, a, um, a veneer over the top and then yeah. paint the veneer. Yeah. So it was just there and then, I don't know if you can see in there, um, you know, it's like a little piece of wood has been put in where, you know, mm -hmm. it's chipped out. Yeah, you can see that. Where on yeah. the other side, yeah. it's, it's absolutely flawless. Mm. So it's just the sort of finishing work was a little bit rough. Mm. Um, that was... Yeah. The only sort of fly in the ointment. Yeah. But yeah. when you talk about price of the guitar. Tell me. Right. The price of this guitar was 340 American dollars. Insane. Um, but they're not like the, you know. Yeah. You've got shipping costs on top of that. That is true, but it's still. That's so a, the shipping yeah. cost was 170. So all up, mm. it's 510 okay. American dollars. Yeah. So but if you wanted to get a ship to America, it would be much cheaper, for example, I'm sure. 
Yeah, well, I, I don't know. If, if, Ireland yes. is a bit awkward from Indonesia, let's be honest. Well, they, they based it on yeah. UK shipping price. Oh, do they? Yeah, yeah. okay. But still, yeah. So it's but, a, I yeah. mean, 510 yeah. American dollars. For a custom guitar built to your yeah. specifications and very uh, complex specifications. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So for 510 American, that works out about 450 euros. I wow. mean, what That's can you buy for 450 euros? A Taiwanese Ibanez. Yeah, I mean, even <laughs> even the sort of custom Epiphones like the mm, Matt Heath mm. model or the Joe Bonamassa models. No, no way, not even them. No, no, that's what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah. Is like they're, they're, Just your basic... they're like eight, nine, sure, two yeah, brands. Sure, yeah, easily. You know. And then um, let's not even talk about the trade war. You've heard about this, I'm sure. Well, Where Gibson are going to get hit by that, I'm sure. So that's another thing. That's going to add a few hundred, uh, maybe possibly a few hundred quid onto guitars. Yeah, I, I don't know how much it affects. It's hitting bourbon. It's hitting jeans. Yeah, yeah. And, I'm sh and it's hitting Hardys. Have you heard it's going to hit Hardy's as well? You know, it's a trade war. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So I can see it hitting Gibson's as well. Why not? You know? We'll just have to wait and yeah. see there. But, I mean, re realistically for the price... It's nuts. You can, yeah. forget, you can yeah. forgive the little flaws in the Absolutely, guitar. Absolutely, yeah. And it was built for you. Like it's, yeah, it's, yeah. And it feels so organic. It feels like, you yeah. know... Forever, you're gonna know every. Yeah, I will. I'll take Hold it off that your hand. because no problem. obviously uh, every nook and cranny. I was gonna say. We have oh another, yeah, we have another one here. Yeah, that's true. Javara. Right. Yeah, that's which right. is the first one I got, and yeah. this one is actually just all rosewood. That body is rosewood. The fretboard is rosewood. The neck is rosewood. The back of the guitar is rosewood. It's a hollow body. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Gibson Les Paul style guitar. It's actually very thick, about two and a half inches, where Gibson Customs are two inches. The but this workmanship is, is probably more, uh, less flawless than that, you know, uh, or more, oh, less flawless, <laughs> less flawed even. Yeah, know. I mean, look, there's a few, um, you know, in the wood, there's a few sort yeah, of... There is a few little nicks, but it's nicks not, in the wood. I think just here that this is a bit more rough and ready. Yes. That's just, but that's a beautiful wood. Oh, the, the it, wood it? just looks it's just fabulous. Gorgeous. It's just yeah. like the the natural wood where, you know, where yeah. they've cut it, they're, you know, sort of a few lines in the wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But again, that's what I actually like about the guitars. They're more honest. Yeah, because yeah. as I said, if there was a thick polyurethane oh, yeah, paint course, finish yeah, on yeah. this, I mean, you've got over a millimeter of, yeah. of paint which hides all those imperfections. Sure, sure. And I mean, you're holding a piece of plastic. If the Gretsch itself would be just polyurethane all over this, wouldn't it? I'm not sure if Gretsch yeah. uses the um, the nitrocellulose. Right. You know, yeah, like yeah. the Gibson oh, yeah. still do. But there again, it's not the. Well, it wouldn't be like this. It would be, it would be covered in some kind of paint. I'm oh, sure. yes. Definitely. Was it, what yeah. color was it? It was a red one that he gave him, was it, or a black one? The original one was a red one. Right. Was it, yeah? Yeah. But I mean, you know, you see pictures of Billy Gibbons with a black one. And, you know, he's yeah. obviously got quite a few of them. <laughs> You know, it's got a nice trebly bite to the um, mm, mm. The, the bridge pickup. If you put it in the in the, the yeah, middle, yeah, sure, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, wow. you know, like as I was saying, if you turn your yeah. uh, neck pickup down, sure, so yeah. you're getting more yeah. of the bridge pickup. <laughs> to do that. 
I would never do that. Yeah, but it see, sounds better. A, a lot of people, they just put it in the middle position, yeah. but they still have uh, both yeah. your volumes up on 10. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you get more of a sort of um, uh, rhythm tone, and it, it just, it's never a good tone. Most When I always stick in the middle position, I'm just, what's the point? Yeah, what's, what's the, the point? point? But this really works. <laughs> Harmonics though I would get And the action is just, it's good, it's very good, it's just a tiny little bit high. Or maybe it's the strings. Yeah, it's, it's not a shredder kind of thing, but it's still lovely, it's great for rock. Playing a guitar with a bit higher action, you nicer. notice yeah. when you've got a very low action, yeah, it's, it's, you're not getting all the nice no. harmonics and everything you're because not. the strings are exactly. just so this close. It's just to, perfect, yeah, it yeah. really is. <laughs> You know, I wasn't massively impressed when I saw it first. I was like, "It's oh. the shape, yeah." I mean, it's, it is. It's uh, what's it's, it's like a music man, you know. It, it just, ah, you know, it just. Uh -huh. uh, <laughs> it's an acquired taste. Oh, <laughs> there you. It is an acquired taste. Yeah. You know, I'm not being okay. nasty. You're right. It's like a music man. Yeah, it's like a yeah. Morse guitar. You just go, well, it's. It's not like a Morse guitar. It's not like a Morse guitar. No, but I mean, in the yeah. sense that it's an acquired taste. That is true. Or let's you know, say that you know what it's like. It's like a music man. No, really? don't you dare and say that. No. No? No. <laughs> Come on, that What are we bad. talking about? We were talking about... Um, St. Vincent. No. Vincent. Well, actually, yeah, possibly. But or I think Albert Lee, Lee. Albert, Albert Lee. Lee. The Albert Lee is very like this it, to a degree. It's even worse if you want to go there. I'd say it's worse, It's yeah. eclectic. Like, it's, it's so... It's uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's bizarre. It, this works for some... You know, when I saw Billy Gibbons mm. with it, and, you know, he's playing blues, it's just like, it is cool. Yeah. You know, it's just... That, you know, look at it. It's it's cool. Yeah. It, it's it's fifties. It's Bo Diddley and Diddley Widley and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's just got a, a cool. Yeah. I mean, the it's whole very thing you. Is, it's very you. you know, this is based off a Cadillac guitar. Yeah, uh, yeah so I can see Cadillac. That. Yeah, car. But it's it, the big fin. You know, I can see that. But yeah. you know, when you see a car kind of a guitar like this, it's really done in that beautiful kind of uh, shiny red with, with a white outline and all that, like a silver outline or something. You know, like a, a Cadillac or yeah, something along those lines. You know. Not that I know anything about cars. But I know anything about, <laughs> I know nothing about cars, but I'm just saying, like, it's it's done. It's not done rough and ready. It's always done ultra kind of. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's done exactly. Red polished. And polished and all that kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, this is like a hot rod. As I said, it's you know a bit. It's like a homemade hot rod. Yeah. Well, that's what the, they call a rack rod. That's what this guitar was supposed to be. Ah, that's that's why I've got the hoods. As I said, this homemade guitar was based off that sticker. And I, we have to say again, if you look at the neck. It's like an alembic bass, you know the alembic basses with their yes. twenty-seven the piece. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, beautiful. But look at that, it's just stunning. And you don't really appreciate because each eleven different pieces going down. Yeah, there. it's nuts, gorgeous. That's a beautiful finish. And you know, yeah. another thing I'll say about both of these guitars I've got so Javar far in from general, yeah. Javar in mm. general is, you know, we mentioned in another video that, you know, the old Gibsons, the bridge was quite close to the body. Um, you know, when you've got the right mm -hmm. um, string height. Yes. You know, where some Gibsons now, you know, the bridge is ridiculously high yeah. off 
off off the yeah. um the body, so mm. you're not getting great transfer. Yeah. You know where these are very. Look at that. Look how mm. low that is. The the bridge. Yeah, there. yeah. Beautiful. It's right down to the yeah. body. So mm -hmm. again, you know that that's well constructed guitar. Yeah. Perfect. You know, Gorgeous. as I said, our only crit criticism really on the guitar is the few little nitpicky nitpicky stuff you know what yeah. you can't go wrong for the price no. it's all good and you're gonna have this guitar for years it's unique this is the only yeah. one in ireland and europe and ever yeah i mean look at the it headstock built, built for you it this, was built you, for you me. designed I, the headstock i i designed the headstock designed by phil so you know i didn't want to yeah. do a gretch headstock yeah you yeah, know that's, that's cool yeah that's cool so this is like a gretch as it were for 300 bucks kind of thing 500. Or 500, yeah. Shipping. You've got to yeah, yeah, add the shipping. shipping. Yeah, still. As I said, Billy yeah. Gibbons himself, most of his guitars are not Gretsch or Gibsons. That's they, right. They are They're uh, actually handmade guitars. Hand, this yeah. is a handmade guitar. Exactly, so. and the quality is, is, yeah. is there. You know, the quality is there. This is stunning to, to yeah. feel this heel. Oh, the heel this is, heel is amazing, nuts. yeah. Oh, my God, it's like a wall. So, how could you compare <laughs> that being a handmade guitar to a commercial guitar? You cannot. You, you just cannot at all. No, it's perfect. Yeah, definitely. I can see where it's going to get a little bit. Over the years, it's going to get stained and oh, dirty, will, yeah. Yeah, which is even adds to the, the beauty charm, of it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, because you, you can see your natural oils and grease will go in there. Oh yeah, it. uh, it's beautiful. That's the charm it's, of yeah. an old old Gibson, and you know, yeah. you yeah. see the, the the dirt in the guitar. Yeah, yeah. You know? and of course, the problem being that resale value on these it will probably be very low because on these custom guitars, they're for, you always yeah. know custom guitars are very hard to sell. Yeah, like you got ones that are made, you know, for someone. Exactly. You know, unless so somehow it's, it's a keeper. Yeah, this it is. is. A keeper, I mean, yeah. unless it, you know some of those builders get um, good names like obviously Chris Derrick who yeah. built um, Slash's guitars. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, or um, is that Israeli maker? Uh, Gil Yaron. Gil Yaron. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. got a name. Yeah, he's got a name. Um, yeah. Obviously, John Boland who makes the guitars for for Billy Gibbons. Yeah. Um, you know, obviously. Well, okay, they're charging big money. They're top notch. Yeah, but you had a Gil Yaron. You owned a Gil Yaron. Yeah. Oh yeah, we well, did. You owned. I a, did. Yeah, you owned a top notch. And it wasn't. Okay, yeah, but it was still. disappointing for the yeah, but that, that's the whole thing is like yeah, you know you know you're paying big money for a guitar that mm. I I wasn't overly impressed for the well, price. Well, you love this one for the price. I, I thought well, you know, how many? <laughs> Jeez, the, could Gil Yaron was literally twenty times yeah, the price of that guitar. Say, yeah, so, I mean, exactly. It, it it's wasn't crazy, definitely yeah. not even exactly. ten times better. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, hey, I mean, you've talked this to death. It's there. It is. Do you want to rock out something to say goodbye? <laughs> I don't know, what, what more can you say about this guitar, man? It is beautiful. It's Gretchy. It's great. It's, it's Gretchy as hell. Yeah. That, that's Rocking what it's out. supposed to be, you yeah. know? I mean, I yeah. suppose you have to give it a bit of a... Uh, a little welly. A bit of a... Uh, Billy Bow. That is the Billy. Or it could be the Philly Bow. Very good. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thanks, guys. Ciao. Bye bye.